Representative Rhodes, some of the most dangerous in the country for pedestrians. In tonight's Two Americas report, investigator Courtney Holmes shows us particular races and ethnicities have a higher chance of being injured or even killed. The world is different when you're a pedestrian. Cars become obstacles. Crosswalks become a lifesaver. But there are very real disparities between who lives and who dies when there's an accident. December 10th, 2018. It was the one day that he forgot. He walked out of here and then gave me a hug, a kiss, and say, Mama, I'll see you later. It was that one day. The last time Nida Richards saw her son, Keyshawn Hughbanks, alive, he was rushing out the door of their South Phoenix apartment to catch the first of two buses for school. Within minutes. The one under him came in the house like, Mama Keyshawn just got hit by a car. <coughs> And I'm, I'm like, what? But then it registered what he said, and I just ran out the house. She found her 15-year-old not moving in the middle of Southern Avenue, just west of Central. Life-changing. Life-changing event. Keyshawn's death in 2018, one of the final pedestrian fatalities in a year that saw a sharp increase. Data from the Maricopa Association of Government shows 1,264 pedestrian injury crashes and 174 fatalities that year. The rising number is part of a national trend, more than 50% increase between 2008 and 2018. That's according to Kara Haman, professor of epidemiology at the University of Iowa. We see pedestrian fatalities rising overall, but the, those increases are not equal when we look by a racial group. Haman's research group found that Asian and Pacific Islander and white pedestrians die at the lowest rates. Death rates increase for Hispanic and multi-race pedestrians, which include Native Americans, and mortality rates are the highest for black pedestrians. This is not a problem we should ignore. When it comes to injuries, multiracial pedestrians are more affected than any other race by far. The next step is to address it. What kind of systemic changes need to be made what kind of policy changes need to be made? What maybe we need to allocate funding for transportation differently. The city of Phoenix does not track the race or ethnicity of pedestrians who are injured or killed. But in response to the 2018 increase in pedestrian deaths, an Office of Pedestrian Safety was created. One of its strategies, ramp up the installation of hawk signals. Those are mid-block crosswalks like this one, installed on 35th Avenue, north of Indian School, after an ABC 15 investigation showed several deadly pedestrian accidents there. The city says as more have gone up, pedestrian deaths have dropped by a third since 2018. Nida wonders if something like this would have helped her son. Did he see this vehicle? Did he have the, the moment, the chance to even just move? She's hoping to give that chance to others, pushing the city to make this area safer for pedestrians. She says she hasn't heard back yet, but hopes that someone was listening. It's just not even about my child or my kids. It's this whole neighborhood. In South Phoenix, Courtney Holmes, ABC 15, Arizona. ABC 15 has confirmed funding was recently secured for a hawk signal where Keyshawn was hit. A city spokesperson says it still is being designed and there is no timeline for installation just yet.